Hey guys and welcome back to episode 4 which uh, today we're going to find Lutz and I'm literally recording this straight after the last episode because uh, why not? I didn't need to do any grinding. We'll just go straight to the cave and uh, fight some new tougher enemies like these sandworms. So oh boy, it's going to be an adventure this time. But I think we can manage it. I haven't done anything at all uh, whatsoever to my characters since the last episode. These guys have a cool animation. I like that they pop out of the ground like that. Alright, 60 Mercedes, not bad. But yeah, we have to go through this little uh, pathway through the mountains. Okay, we... This is one of the aliens, right? I believe we can just talk to them. I could really go for some Lama berries right now. And look at that folks, we didn't even have to fight him. So yeah, if you see an alien like that, usually I like to talk to them. I mean you can fight them, but I just, I never feel right about it. I always just like to talk. I'm a, I guess I'm a bit of a pacifist, but... but this is the kind of cave where if you're not careful you will die so you kind of need to know where you're going and yeah has a very uh, interesting secret in it as well people hate us no matter what we do that's sad I mean seriously all right can we make it can we make it ah oh, good we came we made it um, we got one. Oh, we got two searchlights. Okay, I was gonna say one searchlight. You know, would to make sure we get this first try. But no, we got two. Okay, I gotta remember where to go because uh, this is quite the maze. No, number one of you guys, it's fine. And type in teaser. You say the same thing, and I move on. I'm not sure how many chests there are in, in this, but I will try and get them all. I think one of them is a trap chest though, so uh, might have to skip one of them. I might even open that, depending on how much health we've lost. And over here we get a little healing item. You can actually give people healing items, I believe. And yes, we have uh, pitiful enemies in this as well. The only enemy I'm concerned about is, well, I mean the Motivian aliens, but you can just talk to them. But the only real one that I'm worried about are those tarantulas. Because they can be pretty tough. Okay, come down this way. There's only two levels to this. Now... I want to take a slight detour and go right and take one, two, let's go right, ah oh, it's a wall right, let's walk forward. As you can clearly see I'm not editing this or cutting this whatsoever, that is a secret wall. Um, yeah, go this way. And the prize for finding this is a treasure chest worth two thousand mercedes i don't know how anyone's supposed to find that wall but it's there and i recommend getting that chest don't go down this way because there is something nasty at the end of that corridor that i we will basically die he'll probably one shot us yes it's a dragon so if you don't want to get uh incinerated burned alive then I suggest you to not go that way okay let's go this way and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll find Lutz no problem uh, I think it's the next next left okay I do like the uh, the dungeon music, like the regular dungeon music that you can probably hear, guys. Okay, nothing that way. 
There is another dungeon theme that plays in like the end game dungeons, which is friggin... It's like the most kick-ass music you're ever gonna hear. So yeah, when that plays, I probably won't be talking a lot because I want to listen to the music. Okay, red slimes. All these red slimes can do to you is tie you up. And they are pretty pitiful enemies as well. They probably have easier enemies in the last cave we went in. But I guess this uh, dungeon can be pretty tough. And pretty mazy. So I guess that makes up for the uh, easy enemies, basically. Meow's bindings came apart. Wait, did you just tie up Meow again? And then... Okay, that was weird. Okay, stop tying me up. Just let me kill you already. You're on three hit points. You're going to die. Here we go. 93. Oh my gosh, we're getting so many encounters right now. Not go against Lord Lishik. Ha, he can't be that tough. I've killed him on many playthroughs, so he can't be that tough. Found a searchlight, thank you. Okay, what do you say? You're the same people. Carelessly. Yes, I know, but I've got plenty of health to spare, so it doesn't matter. Another treasure chest. Ooh, another one of those. Okay. But we are very close to finding Lutz, so that's, that's a plus. He is a pretty good character. I'll explain more about him though when we actually get to him. Now if you don't go and talk to the governor before you come this way, Okay, that really hurt us. If you don't talk to the governor, um, then you'll have to go all the way back. Because, um, you'd, want, you'd need the letter, basically. Uh, actually, is there a chest? Okay, there's not a chest. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Nope, I'm going to run from you. Not, I do not feel like fighting you today. But I do believe this chest is trapped. Open it. I'm not going to open it because I do think that is a trap chest and I think it's empty anyway. I know I said I'd get all the chests but not if it's going to injure me. Maybe on my way back then. Make it more challenging. Alright, we now arrived at Lutz. Who are you? I'm trying to train, don't interrupt me. You must be Lutz, I have a letter for you from the Governor General. Would you mind reading it? Let me see that. Ah, I see. So it's come to this, I apologise for my earlier hostility. The Sheik is a dangerous man, for the sake of Algo, he must be stopped. I think I can help. We have to alert Dr. Lavano in the Gothic Woods. If I recall, we can get there through a manhole at Kamenit Space Station. Let's go quickly. So yeah, we now have our fourth and final party member, Lutz. And he's not that strong, except when it comes to magic. He has some good spells starting out. He is the super heal. He can also do fire damage which is pretty awesome but he's gonna be our boss killer basically I'm not really gonna get him to use much spells except if we encounter bosses or just very tough enemies like these guys that keep showing up go away go catch flies there you go okay we're getting bombarded with enemies you just want to tie up everyone. Why do you want to be a pain? Why can't you tie up like Noah or something, you know? Uh, not Noah, Lutz. I'm sorry Lutz, you are, you are a good character, but not when it comes to melee combat. Oh 
Come on, just die. Can we? Yes, we can free out of our bindings. I just want to get out of here. One hit point, are you serious? Just die! There we go. Okay, I am going to get that chest. Ooh, tile on leveled up. Okay, let's actually get the chest. Pretty sure I'm going to regret this. Yeah. Oh, we actually found a Rogan. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to use a super here on Alyssa. Ooh, I think she's at max. Super heal does a lot of uh, heal heals. Uh, Lutz, you can do a super heal on Tylon. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, Alyssa, you can heal Meow. And... Alyssa, you can also heal Lutz. I'm trying to conserve as much of my uh, MP as possible. I haven't explained what that does, but basically, um, the more you use magic, the more MP you run out of. And you can probably guess what MP stands for. Hit points, magic points. At least I think it stands for magic points. Now we just got... Okay, I'm going to run from these guys. I'm not getting tied up again. Is The fact that I'm running into so many enemies at once is kind of making me a bit frustrated. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to go this way. Run. No, you're going to tie me up probably. <laughs> just go away. I want to get out of here. But yeah, you guys can see what I mean by the uh, encounter rate sometimes. It can be a little bit annoying. Okay, one more time. Thank you. Usually on the third attempt, it's usually guaranteed that you'll uh, escape. <sighs> okay, let's, let's try and fight one, see what happens. Okay, you did the worst possible move you could do there, Spider. You, you tied up my weakest person. Good job. Okay. Kill spider. Kill spider. There we go. Ooh, let's level up. Okay, is it this way? Yeah, this looks like the right way. You guys, if you guys are confused about which way to go, trust me, I'm. I get confused. Right and okay, we keep going straight. Oh, one red slime. The game's just trolling me at this point. Lutz only did one damage to that. Come on, you can do better than that, Lutz. 31. Um, I think not this right coming up, but the next right is where we need to go. And after we get out of that cave that we're in, that will... We might do a few more things before we end the episode. But uh, in next episode, we'll be doing a lot of exposition, a lot of, um, well, roleplay. Okay, talk. Want to be friends? You can... Oh, oh, okay. I didn't expect that. So I guess I went too far. This must be it, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're on the right track. Talk. Okay, you're the same guys. Are you stalking me? Are you following me around this cave? I don't like people following me without my consent. Okay, we're almost out. And this will probably be the last episode I do for this night. I usually record these at like midnight because, it, you know, that way I don't have to worry about noise or anything. Things get loud sometimes. 
I'm glad the encounters we're running into are very quick and painless and easy. Okay, uh... Do we still... Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way, I think. It's in here. I probably could have had a map. Oh, okay, here we go. It's the way out. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm just gonna run. Oh, come on. Why do you do this to me? This, e this entire episode is just me raging about not being able to escape and the enemies. Oh, come on, can you blame me? Alright. Oh, and just as I was beginning to think would be out of sandworm territory. Nope, you got to throw more sandworms in my face. I know I could fight these, but okay, you know what? I'm just going to use a quick dash. I don't feel like fighting these guys right now. We fought enough enemies in this episode. I guess before I head back to town, there is one thing I will show you guys actually. Well, maybe I don't have to, but I want to. Um, let's see, let's go around here. If you try and step on these, okay. Yes, hello. Yahoo. Okay, that's a weird way to say hello, but if you try and step on these weird-looking uh, things up here, this happens. We have to fight an ant lion. So let's fight one. Okay, you didn't do any damage. How much damage are they going to do? One damage, okay. Honestly guys, these guys... These ant lions are not worth fighting. And you'll see why. Okay, come on. Jeez, you guys don't do much damage at all. It's a freaking spider. Just cut off its legs or something. There we go. Eight experience points for all that. How much money do we get? Seven mesetas! That's a lot, isn't it? That is why I don't bother with the ant lines. So, what is the next thing we gotta do? I believe there is something at the spaceport we gotta check out. Something that looked a little bit strange to me in one of the episodes earlier. But I think I could heal, but I don't feel like walking all the way back to town right now. So now we can uh, go into this thing. And do I have a suit? I do have a searchlight. Green slimes. Okay, I'm just going to fight these guys. Those are green slimes attack. Ooh, nice. One shot. Well, if Alyssa can one-shot these guys, I'd say we're in a pretty pretty good position in the game at the moment. I think we're tough enough to like deal with the next onslaught of uh, enemies and dangers that we'll have to face. I probably won't even need to do any grinding for our next episode. Really, I did most of the grinding, like, um, between episodes 2 and 3. Alright. Now, this is a very short, like, it's not even a cave. It's like a little passageway with, like, one door to the left. Okay. Surprisingly, a lot of slimes in this cave. They need to do some cleaning. You're very busy. Standing there with your arms crossed. Yeah, you're very busy. Sure. And with that, I think I'm probably going to stop it here. I feel like it's been a long enough episode. And uh, next episode, we'll be exploring a lot. We'll be talking to a lot of people. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you in the next episode.